This is News OK TV. This is News OK TV. Well, it's time for News OK TV. I'm Angie Bruss. Thanks for joining me. It is Tuesday, December 6, 2011. This week marks the 70th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor. To commemorate the milestone, the Oklahoma History Center will open a new exhibit, Oklahomans and Infamy, on Wednesday. The display honors the role Oklahomans and the USS Oklahoma played in World War II. It features stories from men aboard the battleship and fighter pilots who pursued the Japanese planes. In addition, flight suits, naval uniforms, as well as items from the USS Oklahoma will make up the exhibit. Things will start to warm up Wednesday with highs in the mid 40s. Skies will be sunny and clear. The warming trend could continue into the weekend as temperatures could hit the 50s by Sunday. Well, four Oklahoma postal sites could be closed as part of the agency's attempt to cut nearly $3 billion from the budget. The U.S. Postal Service announced it wants to close 252 mail processing centers across the country beginning next spring. The move would eliminate 28,000 jobs across the nation. Centers in Woodward, McAllister, Poto, and Tulsa could be closed. The Oklahoma City Boathouse Foundation recently received a $500,000 donation from Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oklahoma. The funds will help kickstart a fundraising drive to build a new pavilion and other venues. We're really trying to, to promote the idea that you can come down with your family and spend the day down here, whether it's kayaking or rowing or, or getting on a bike and experiencing all that there is that the river offers. The Alabama coach Nick Saban voted OSU number four in the ballot for the coaches poll. The Crimson Tide edged OSU out of the BCS national title game. Saban was one of six coaches who ranked Oklahoma State below the third slot. Well, Toby Keith won the American Country Award for Artist of the Decade on Monday. Other native Oklahomans to win included Carrie Underwood, who took home three trophies, and Blake Shelton received two awards. Well, Christian Bale says the third Batman movie will be his last. Bale just finished filming The Dark Knight Rises, set to release in July 2012. The movie also stars Anne Hathaway, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and Tom Hardy. I know my husband's excited about that one. Too bad it's the last one for him, but I'm sure it'll be great. All right, so it's chilly out there. Make sure you bundle up. See you later.